Hi, my name is Jake Story, captain of the story. You know, I, I got pantsed a little bit in ball and play, so I've had to pivot. To track a smoking gun at first must be fired. I don't know what that means yet. This is a, a pretty tough draft for me because I think I know who's going to be available at the seven spot, but I need to draft that person based off who I think I'm going to be left with at 12. I have the first pick. Uh, everyone thinks I'm taking Dalton Feely, and I probably will. Uh, we'll see. I'm open to a moment of panic. Some fireworks are set to be in motion. Uh, me and Jimmy have a trade. Me and Jack have a trade. And I think I realize I have the power because I'm pretty good at slap ball. I'm pretty good at blitz ball. Jack wanted someone and I wanted someone and the picks we had didn't align with that. So I thought, hey, why don't we swap those picks and I get something out of it in blitz ball. So I'm not, I'm, don't think I'm gonna do, go too crazy. I will say I want Ryan. I have a couple different philosophies. I have defensive philosophies. I have offensive philosophies. I think I'm a little screwed, but not really. I think I just, when I get my team, I'll make a plan. I'm gonna see what happens. Uh, we're gonna see how much I have to lie, how much I have to use power. Another thing, not a great liar, so. I'm very open to goalie. I'm, I myself will probably hop in a little bit. I can go like Diversa and get a full-time goalie. The goalie is Panic or Diversa at 10 or I'm putting on the gloves. These next two tournaments are the most important for me to win slap ball and blitz ball. Gotta get top two at least. I think there's a chance again, I gain some draft capital coming out of this draft with a chance to win. I already have six points, so I don't think I need to do anything crazy. I'm gonna make one trade. And if that one trade doesn't happen, I may make seven or not. We'll see how that turns out because I think we're going to bamboozle people and then I'm also going to bamboozle Jimmy and none of this could matter, which would be the funniest part. Welcome back to the Captain's League. It's tournament number two. Draft number two. Sport number two. It's slap ball. What's slap ball? Well, take a look at this. So you want to learn about slap ball, eh? The game is a simple game. Throw the ball or slap the ball. Now the court has three zones. One, your offensive zone. Two, your defensive zone. Or third, the neutral zone. If you want to score with the throw, you'll need to be outside of your own offensive zone. If you want to score on a slap, just don't be in the crease. In fact, don't ever go in your opponent's crease. To self-slap, you must bounce it first before you slap. When trying to score on a slap, whether your own or a pass from a teammate, make sure your feet are set. If your feet are moving, then you're not grooving. Now a traditional slap ball team is usually built with the following. One, a goalkeeper. Two, a thrower. Strong arm lad. Third, how about a good slapper? Or fourth, how about a player that's pretty skilled in all facets of the game? A Jack Day, a Jake of all trades. Slap balls a non-contact game with ideologies from basketball, soccer, dodgeball, plays, trumpets, and sports. If you're slapping, make it happen. So there you have it. That's the sport we are drafting for today. It's our first time ever playing it. It's the first time it's ever been played in a real way because we invented the sport. So 
this is the first, it's the first time. It's brought to you by Shady Rays and we got something fun. The leading goal scorer at that point in time, doesn't matter, games played, shots taken, whoever has the most goals scored will don the Shady Ray glasses. I, have, I don't deserve to wear them right now. If you want to wear most goal scoring glasses, you got to buy them for yourself at ShadyRays.com, but you can use code warehouse to get 40% off. So throughout the tournament, if you see a guy in the crowd wearing these, that means he's the leading goal scorer. They can snake it back and forth during a game, maybe. They can play with them on if they want. We advise against it. Here's the current captain's points. I have six, Jake has three, Jack has one, Jolly has zero. Reminder, the captain that gets the least amount of points after the four tournaments gets relegated to be a pool player. Okay, before the draft begins, have there been any tr off-season trades completed and signed? Secret secrets are no fun. Secret secret in my bum. <laughs> so you do that? <laughs> Might not use that take. Jolly and I have made a trade. Signed off by Jeremy and his consigliere Rob Moretti. Uh, here's the trade. Good news is, doesn't involve any slap ball picks. I have given Jimmy the third pick in floor ball. Yes, in exchange for my third pick in blitz ball. Yes. But there's more. Well, that's, to there's it. a lot more going on here. You're giving me your blitz ball seven. I'm giving you my blitz ball three. You're giving me your floor ball three and your floor ball nine. And I'm giving you my floor ball five and 12. And that's all, that's the full trade. But wait, there's more. Jimmy, would you take a seat please? Wow. Jack, would you come on up? I've been wheeling and dealing. I have traded the number three pick in slap ball. That fell for the number four pick in slap ball to move up from the number 12 pick in blitz ball to the number nine pick in blitz ball. Like and subscribe. Did you guys just do that now? Or did you have, you no. did you have Jeremy sign off on it? Not yet, but he's getting approved. I'm in with the commissioner. I see no clown. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let the draft begin. No trade from Jake. Jake. I like when Commissioner Sam yells. Thank you. I like to wheel and deal. That was good. I like seeing picks move. That's fun. Daddy's got his lucky draft hat. Got me second place and bit. <laughs> Uh, while trading down twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I was hoping he would. There are three guys who kind of were consensus top overall draft pick opportunities. Like the Detroit Lions, my favorite team that's on my hat. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> oh. Jake, maybe put down the knife. Sometimes you got to go with the safe right pick. And the safe right pick, cut off his penis. <laughs> it's Dalton Feely. Yeah. It's Dalton Feely. Uh, commitment, buy-in, offense, defense. It allows me to go any direction with my team later in the draft. And there's rumors he could be on the trading block. Who started him? The knife. I, I too would have done that. But don't listen to me. Drop it. I have no points. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> we got to use knives. Huh? Oh, that All was right. awesome. <laughs> Odell. With the number two overall pick in slap ball. And I need a thrower here. And someone who's got more stamina than me. And uh, I've won with before. Now, I'll let the audience know he hasn't played the sport a lot, but I'm hoping 
After the regular season, he gets it down for the playoffs, and we find ourselves a rhythm. I will be taking Luke Live Arm. That's his nickname. O'Brien. Trade it up for this spot. He looks so shady right now. Uh, I traded up for this spot. I really wanted to go out and get my guy, and I think my full plans are coming to fruition. Fruition. Close. Ryan Cohen. That is a scary two, sir. Jolly traded down for this pick. Didn't want Ryan. I repeat, did not want Ryan. Granted, I would have loved Ryan. It's <laughs> a good retort. Yeah. Let it be known. <laughs> but I needed a goalie, and I needed someone I can trust, live and die with, maybe even hug and kiss with at some point, if we win. And that's Lorenzo D'Amalia. I'm making up for trading him last time. I'm keeping him this time. Syncopation. Zo. First round Zo. First round Zo. Always has been. We're assembling a team that is scary for me and my opponents equally, I think. I'm going to pick Dan Rourke. That is three throwers on one team. That and is... the Rippers have ripped. That's a lot of chaos. We're not a throwing team. Never claimed to be a throwing team. Because we're a slapping team. And who better to slap with? than Rob Scirocco. That's my number six overall pick. Now it gets interesting. Now the interest gets beginning. I'll be honest with you guys, I knew this was gonna be where I was gonna stand and I, I still don't know what I'm gonna do. So quick intermission of how strong is his shoe? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm gonna do something that I don't know if I believe in. <laughs> What's he doing? I'm going to take Diversa. Whoa. Okay. Okay. He's one of the best goalies in the practice sessions. It allows me to not have to play goalie because I don't think I'm good at goal. He's a dog. You know, again, being back to back with round two or three, this is the only time I don't empower my teammates. I want them to both think of themselves as a third round pick um, to motivate them. But this could be the only time that Joe's McFly is a second round pick, so I'm happy for my godson slash uncle Joe's McFly. Thought you might do that. You guys played well together in the practice games. Yeah. Yes. Uh, he is the only offensive goalie IMO. Uh, Disagree. He's got some post moves. And then the other guy, sometimes when you have enough team unity, you can just go talent. And I will be taking Dan Kenobio yeah. with my first pick in the third round to round out story time. Can I tell you something, Jake? Yeah. I played with those three in a practice game. Yeah. And it's the best we ever played. And I really like your squad. Thank you. Thank you. I am building an offensive line. <laughs> I'm building a team <laughs> that is going to run you over and like it. I'm going to go with Justin Pennick. You know what's a fucked up no. thing? Is Pennant can also throw from behind right. I think I might yeah, have... He can throw 70, 80 miles per hour. My team might have four of the top six throwers. Well, there's only two cats left. I need a dog on my squad. Lou Dab is the number 11 pick. The jolly good fellows are back. You worried about the chemistry? Because the last time we saw him... He took the Goodfellas jersey <laughs> I don't off, remember that. turned it inside out. That happened. So Lou is playing. He, I think he's still trying to win, but he's not doing this for the team. He took it off to put it back on. No one told me that happened. Might have influenced my decision. The big baby rounds out the breakdowns. Team talking baseball. Take a look. And now trades can begin. Uh, mm -hmm. Does anyone want to offer anything right away? Anything on the table? Jake's selling. Um, I'm happy with my slap ball team. <laughs> Throw the knife. Jake, I'll make you an offer. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and this is just a starting point, but if you want to accept it right away, right. Okay. we could switch these picks right. and just completely switch teams. Three for three. <laughs> what? 
That's a starting point. It's, <laughs> it's a, a starting, starting point. point. It's, it's a, a starting point. May I make Jake an offer? We don't work out. I, have, I don't have much better than you anywhere else. You can only improve third rounds. Jake. Yeah. The people. I'm assembling the worst floorball team of all time. But in hopes that I can win A and win B. And part of that is winning A. So Jake, I have this nifty eight pick in right. floorball. Some are saying there's a top eight in floorball. What are these picks you guys are offering me? I'm willing to let you jump from the 11 to the eight. I have an offer for Jake. <laughs> you do not say yes to this, right? Finish, Shelly. <laughs> and just do a quick swap, Lou for Dan. Lou for Dan, and I go from 11 and eight in floorball. Yep. I hear your offer. It really Think doesn't move it. the needle enough Think about for it. me. Think about it. I'm not saying I can't come back to it later. <laughs> Jake, <laughs> Jake, Jake. Hey, Jack Jake. didn't go yet. I cut him off. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Smart. <laughs> Jake. Smart play. Jack, stand up for yourself. Jake, yeah. are you interested this in... Nice. <laughs> you have the four, five. Sure. Wouldn't it be cool if you had the four, five, seven? We go seven for 10. That helps you out a ton in Blitzball. And then seven switch your entire ten team. in Blitzball. What's what's the offer? Just seven are you for interested? ten? No, not no. And then we'll do something up here. Are you interested in that? Uh, I'll be honest. Again, that's very much on the margarines. The margarine. I mean, if you're offering up the one one, it's obviously. I mean, we're talking big deals. Right. <laughs> you know, for slap ball, I would need Cohen. Okay. That would have to be a part of it. Right. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking more in the realm of Dalton for Penix, which won 10 or something. I don't even know if I want to do that. Because I like my team, so that's the only way I... I don't... I can't do that. Fair. Very fair. You can't, you can't have Dalton, too? That's crazy. And it, it was what? The floor floorball 8 for 11 with Dan yeah. and Lou? Would you do blitz throwing Blitzball 10-9 as well? All right, Jake, final offer. Nine in the ten. Eight, eleven, Kenobio, Lou. Happy dealing. Jake's got a floorball team. Charlie does not. Good draft, boys. Yep. All right, there you have it. Let's go tell the guys. On the line! Oh, wow. Just, oh no. Lou Dab. How you doing, Pop? I'll let you go. I know you won't. I know you don't. Find that green. That green matches your eyes. Now I had the first overall pick in the draft. There was a lot of debate. Don Feely, Ryan, Panic. I went with Don Feely. He's what this city needs. Let's go, Pop. He's yes, what sir. this city yes, needs. Sir. Let's go. What? What? <laughs> and if I've got Pop, and I've got Pop, I'm going to need Pop. Joe's McFly. Yeah. Let's go. Let's be first. You were the first second pick. First second pick? Tell him to the story. Let's go. Let's go, Let's go. Let's go. I got all of these shirts. That's all for you. <laughs> all for you. Let's go. Great team. I like this team. I like this team. Okay. Story, story's over. Story's over. Sorry, dog. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss you guys. Breakdowns. Starting in goal, Lucas Diversa. XL, 2XL. Whichever you got. Large. Large seems right. Thank you. Power forward and lockdown defensive player for the breakdowns will be Big Baby David. XL. Large. Anything works, you can sort it out. And shooting and scoring all of her goals will be Luke O'Brien. What number were you last time? I don't know. You don't know what number? We're a defensive team plus Luke. 
That's our strategy. That's a good strategy. Defense won the last tournament. Oh, yeah. All right, who wants greatness? I do. Come here. Oh, you're on. Yeah. Let's go, Chad. Let's go. It's a pleasure to be here. I do. Come here. I do. Come here. Yeah, let's go! That's my dog. That's my dog. This team's winning it all. Stop it, Hulk. Sorry. I don't know if I'm going to draw. I do. Come here. Yeah! I got my guys. Get it. Hey, 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 hey. I have a lot to say, and I love this squad, and we're, I got all the guys I wanted. I'm excited to be part of the breakdowns. I'd like to congratulate Jimmy on his surplus value. Back-to-back -back breakdown seasons for me. We were a defensive-focused team last year. We're going to be a defensive-focused team this year. That's going to bring us to this year. We have an awesome defensive team, so I think that they're going to help out a big time, like BBD getting away shots, things like that. So I think Jimmy's going to come up with a scheme, and I think in this sport, more than anything else, like you need to have a good scheme. We're going to need Luke to be throwing a lot. Our matchup with the breakdowns, because Dalton, we just ISO on Luke everyone else figure everything out. I want them, the other teams, to think that he's the only one that's going to score. It's either that or that was a big fake out. You know, he said that in front of everybody for a reason. So they double team him, and then if me and BBD have a shot, it's very wide open. You know, figure out his gravity, somebody will be open. A lot of quick passing, quick decisions opens up for me and Jim in the slap. I think the breakdowns will win if we can by playoffs, come up with a strategy and understand how we can play. The bar is set at winning or failure. We play the Rippers first, and everyone seems a little scared about that because they all can throw the ball very hard. This is a team that's clearly going to go out there and rip it. Ha, ha, ha. All of those guys are shooters, not many slappers, not sure how they're going to be moving the ball. Yeah, I mean, we're going to throw a lot for sure, but I think we're more dynamic than we're getting credit for. I think we're going to have some slapping in there. The secret weapon is I think Ryan's a pretty damn good slapper. So if, if Rourke is just our thrower, and then me and Ryan are slapping, I still like her odds. That I am a thrower, because that's where I feel the most comfortable, and Jack just confirmed me that's what my primary role is gonna be. Rourke is the wild horse that we need to ride into battle. What I was told was, their best player act like it's a piece of poop, and I am a fly. You stick to it. I made the one deal I needed to make, as I said before. I am so flattered that you traded for me, and my entire intention here is to make sure that I prove him right on that pick. Ryan is just, I think, a ripper for life so far, two for two, and I'm probably going to pick him everything else as well. Every sport I play, no matter what, it's championship or bust. This was my fourth pick, technically, so I'm not going to say or bust, but I, I would be a little disappointed if we don't win it all. Oh, win it all. You know, if we don't, I'll say it's a failure, like Aaron Judge does every year. How many times are we going to say rip it in this interview? One more time. Rippers, rippers, rip it. That's our team motto. I think I got to remember it's uh, Rippers Rip It Ripping It or something right. along those lines. In any sport, height is good except maybe like being a mouse. We're the smallest team. Why would it be a concern? How tall am I? It's the short team, so if you're a short king at home, you should root for us. Like the red team actually really concerns me with the ball movement and the slapping. I wanted a fast slapping team. And that's exactly what I got. Oh, I slap a lot of things in my life, you know, not my wife. Where am I? Who, who are you? God, I had to make a trade at the end for a little bit of team synergy. Wanted Dan Kenobio, a guy that I've won plenty of games with. Uh, I heard I was a story person for five minutes. People say like, oh, you know, we're, I'm happy to be part of that organization. But no, no, I hate Jake. This weekend. Well, we, my real home is with the Goodfellas, which was my original AIM screen name. Got my guy Zoe and going. The other guy in the red jersey keeps telling me I have to save the ball. So I think that's why I'm here. Hearing a lot of, oh, you guys don't have throwers, you don't have this, you don't have that. But, you know what we got? We got heart. We got determination. What? Where am I? I good. Could you call my mom? We got speed. We got agility. Have you seen Jolly Olive? He posts running picks every day. We're trying to win slap ball. Point blank. Win it all. All I've done is finish second place in every single thing inside of this building. I want to win. So this is a redemption game for me. Um, the fact that I was benched in ball and play. Uh, yeah, so definitely uh, Jolly has the X on his back today. Yeah, I'm coming for him. If you're thinking about trades while you're on the court, then I think you're thinking about the wrong thing. So if they're thinking about that and revenge games, then I think they're in their own head and that's gonna work to our advantage. I know what happened last time. You traded me once, 
I know you, you made a mistake last time. You made up for it. I appreciate it. But I want that bag. Number one pick, I want to be the highest paid slap ball player ever. I'm disappointed. I think I should have gone in the first round, but I understand shooters got to shoot. I think if there was a straw poll right now and teams couldn't vote for their teams, I think us and the Rippers would be tied 1A, 1B. Oh, I love the challenge. Oh, Jack Doyle right there getting up in his grill. I'm like, you ain't, you ain't scoring on me. No shot, no chance. Dalton is kind of like the guy from a movie that would go to a party with Joe's and Lou and try to be like the man and they'd end up laughing at him in a nice way. Paired up with Dalt once again and I'm paired up with somebody that I have a lot of chem with. Me, Joe's and Dalton, we're gonna have phenomenal team chem. If you guys can, please comment chem in the comments. Lose the wild card that everyone's a little nervous about, but I think he's got the guys that can reel him in. It's me, it's Dahl, and it's his guy Joe's. I did trade down again, technically, so I can't be broken if we don't win it. The goal is the championship, and I think we can. It just all comes down to Joe's. <laughs> so if you guys don't win, you're blaming it on Joe's. 100%.